turns people watcher to find out why so many of us are calling on the services of private investigators. How long does it take to catch a cheat? Depends how smart they are. Buying new clothes, wearing different perfume or aftershave. And you know your partner well enough to know when the truth isn't exactly flowing. Are there anything on credit card bills or any hotel receipts that don't actually match up with diary dates? Of course, the only suspicious behaviour I'm likely to be exhibiting in a hotel room is nicking the free toiletries. But here's a word of warning. If infidelity's your game, you could be playing it out on camera. A recent survey of divorce lawyers says that almost half of suspicious spouses in divorce cases hire a private detective to spy on their partner. Arabella Mazuki runs an all-female detective agency which promises to catch cheating partners red-handed. We have little tricks, for example, you know, oh, my husband, he's coming out of his office building in London, he's 40-ish, wearing a grey suit, and he's balding. So how many of those are there? So what we tend to do, we've done it before, is send a bunch of flowers. So he'll be the man that walks out with a bunch of flowers. There you go, spot him and follow him. The same survey tells us that 60% of spouses who call on the services of private investigators are wives. Luckily for Helen Foster Clark, she found out about her boyfriend's behaviour before she made any bows. So you were suspicious of your partner's behaviour? Yeah, I was, yeah. Not at first, but it was just little things over a few months that um, were just niggling at me, really. He seemed to go on a lot of stag weekends, um, but then there was no mention of a wedding happening. So what was discovered in the process of the investigation? Right, it was actually discovered um, that uh, my boyfriend at the time was married and living with his wife. And that was a total shock to you? Complete shock to me. I had no idea at all. And I actually got footage of him um, out um, in a nightclub with his wife, um, dancing, drinking, all over each other. And all I did was, I got the tape, I didn't even say a word, I just packed all his things from my spare room and put them in a bag on the drive with the tape on top. Catching a cheat doesn't come cheap. And how much did you spend on private investigator and would you say that was money well spent? Um, I spent uh, approximately £600 at the time and it was definitely money well spent because uh, it gave me closure, it helped me to put a lid on that part of my life and move on. In fact, Helen was so inspired, she decided to become a private investigator herself. I love what I do, I love getting results for the clients and I enjoy it very, very much. Helen's £600 was a steal compared to the massive cost that a longer investigation can run up. I get the very wealthy clients who it doesn't really dent them that much and they'll spend anything to find out exactly what's going on. And then we have the clients that they're on a budget. It can either cost £50 for an initial quick check or it can run into the thousands. For that money, private eyes like Arabella will use a battery of tricks and gadgets. I'm used to the high-tech stuff needed to watch animals, but for people watching, you need a bit more camouflage. This is a tracking device. It will set you back more than £300. It's magnetic, and all you need to do is attach it to the underside of a car, like this. Then once it's in place, you can log onto the internet and feverishly check exactly where the car is at any given time. Adultery is behind one in three divorces, so there's a big demand for these gadgets. But most methods aren't quite so high-tech. People will take a mental snapshot of you. So if you've got your hair tied up and a coat on, and two minutes later your hair's down without the coat on, no one would recognise you. If you're thinking of hiring a private eye, be wary of cowboys because the industry is not currently regulated. Meanwhile, I think I'll go back to watching creatures who know how to behave themselves. Even when they think no one is watching. Here we have a stereotypical private eye, the dirty Mac, the conspicuous newspaper, and the turban. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't quite got